vintage fans. Uh, it's come to my attention that I have not been fulfilling my duties to you by promising reviews and not delivering on them. Uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, I don't think I'm that famous. I don't think I'm a very good reviewer, and I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, that's not knocking none of y'all. I, I enjoy the attention. But uh, there is one review that I told y'all I didn't want to do. And consequently, that's the one that's been requested the most. Uh, I figure I might as well just get it out of the way. Today, Grimlock. He is a 2005 Mustang GT. I got to drive a 2005 Mustang, not a GT. I have an interesting story for you about that. I rented it while on vacation in Virginia. When I picked it up, it had 900 miles. When the flatbed tow truck picked it up, broken down on the side of the road, it had 1,600 miles. I'm not a fan of Fords. I like the Mustangs. I wish I could drive one, but anytime I touch a Ford, it breaks. This is the exception. I really need to get a camera that I can hook up to a monitor and see what it is that y'all are seeing because uh, I'm having to refilm this. Uh, what you're going to do to start the transformation is pop this panel down. Also underneath, there are two panels behind the back tires. Flip them up. You can take and turn the whole legs down at this point. Uh, kind of got to pop the trunk a little bit. I, I didn't show you all that, but that lets the knee pads rotate some. And that is pretty much the only easy part of this transformation is the legs. Uh, the rest of it is just terrible. Uh, parts pop and fly off and it's... Damn you, Takara. Um, uh, let me collect my thoughts here. This, I don't want to have to take and make any cuts while I just go get the manual and transform this guy, because I've had this guy for nearly two years, transformed him twice. This is where transformers should be fun, but aren't. The, it's like... They went out of their way to make this as difficult as they could because alternators, I don't trust them. They, they look and feel fragile to me, 90% of them, and they're expensive. I mean, when you get to thinking, I mean, they had like what? Uh, I think Ravage was like number 19, the, the, the actual Jaguar Ravage, not the repaint and remold ravage so when you figure two uh not almost 20 figures at 20 dollars a piece and that's not if you're importing the actual takara bionetech or however you pronounce it versions those things are like 50 bucks so you've got damn america uh, you've got a lot of money tied up in these things if you shipped in the ones with all the die casts and all that and then if you did ship in the die cast you've got something that is just fragile i mean the, you can't transform them out here because the paint rubs off of them so alternators at less than half the price seem to me like a bargain unless you live in japan and can you know get domestic models my review i did on evac i had a split in the headache and it's still with me a little bit and I'm sorry if that's coming through on the reviews. I, I just, I don't mean to take nothing out on y'all, but for some reason, every time I come home from working offshore, I get a splitting headache for the first two days I'm home. And I'm not talking about, I, I just, if I was trying to guide you through this, I'd have to go twice as slow as I am, and it's just, it's a chore to transform these guys. That's the big reason I didn't get Wheeljack, is just because this guy was such a pain, I didn't want to have another one that was just the same. I'm going to mention the head because I was specifically asked about the head. I think I might have messed up. Okay, I'm going to pop this back up for a second. Pull the head back down below the level of the hood, 
and this little paddle in the hood right here will take and flip wait let me try and not break this okay tilt the windshield back take that panel in the hood and fold it around underneath now you're going to take and fold the hood flat but above the level it would normally sit at attached to the car and there's no way I can show you you're going to try and push the head as far back to where it's, it's got a sliding joint slide that as far back as you can then pull the hood forward while somehow managing to keep that flap up and touch it to where it's touching like this but up in the back you can then take and have the hood kind of glide down forward to where it's further forward than it would naturally sit on the car and the head finally pops up through um, after that you then have to get it to where everything matches up naturally and good luck it, it it really is a bear to transform uh, if I sound like I'm complaining I am this there is no earthly reason why they had to make this so ungodly to transform I mean there's very few transformers I wish I could unbuy he's close um, if you're gonna leave him in his transformed robot mode, I highly recommend him. I mean, once you get him in it that first time and just leave him alone, yes. If you're gonna have this, especially if you're less coordinated than I am, which chances are you're not less coordinated than I am, but he's just gah. Uh, I realize y'all been looking at his back this whole time. God. I, I apologize. Normally I'd reshoot. I'm not reshooting. I got this guy just about transformed. He's staying this way. Uh, his engine, engine gun, you uh, take and fold the sides out, the handles underneath, and I don't know, most of my transformers end up being left-handed for some reason. Index finger poses separately from the other three fingers and that's pretty much standard for the alternators uh, so you've got him here back to this right here in the back this little flap uh, like I said it, it looks like from the back he's wearing a kilt and from the front like he's wearing a cape attached to his ass uh, it pops off very easily and improves the look of the figure so much so why not perform a butt flap ectomy. And that is pretty much Grimlock. Uh, I'm transforming into robot mode is much easier than going back into car mode. You have to hold your mouth right. I, I haven't found the right way to hold my mouth to transform him back. But uh, edit. Okay, back. Uh, you just saw a big jump in the film. That's because I got to rambling thinking about uh, what to rate this guy and a five. If they wouldn't have given him such an aggravating transformation, I mean, these are supposed to be fun, not chores. Bottom line, if you're going to buy him, to transform him once, put him up on a shelf and admire him, get him. He's very nice to look at. He's very, very nice. I like to actually transform them once in a while, he is nothing but pain. Like I said, for collectors and displayers, I'm going to give them a five. For people who want him because they enjoy Transformers just in general, week four. That concludes the review that I've been dreading. Listen, y'all are great. Oh